is my appearance. Um, yeah, I am filming another tutorial, which by the time I post this is probably already up. So it's a hair tutorial. So yeah. Um, yeah. So the first thing that I am going to be taking is my South Ochre Paint Pot by MAC. And I am going to just be applying that all over my lid. Say hello to the bump. And this brush is like a no-name brush that I'm just using to apply it with. I'm just going to take my finger and just blend it all out. So now I'm just going to go in with Creme Brulee by Makeup Geek and I'm just going to sweep it all over my lid just to kind of give my eye a little bit of something to um, just to kind of smoothen and soften this um, base out. And I'm really just applying it all over my lid like so just to kind of even it out. So the first color that I am using is Chickadee by Makeup Geek and I am going to sweep that using this Luxie 227 brush pretty much above my crease. So I went ahead and added a piece of tape to that just so I can have a starting point if that makes sense and I'm going to go in and just keep adding that okay so right now I'm gonna stop and I would recommend you doing this because on my other eye I did this part first and that is adding the white shadow I'm using this white shadow out of my little miss grace palette from Sedona lace so I'm applying I'm gonna apply that all over my lid first and I would recommend you doing that as well just so that this color it's going to get a little bit lost but you'll see what I mean just so it won't get too lost when you are applying it um, when you're applying the other uh, oranges on your eye. So I'm just going to go in and pack this color all on my eye. Now this does have like a lot of fallout so I would not recommend doing this um, before you um do your uh or after you do your makeup so yeah i'm just gonna be packing that on my eye like so it's gonna help with the whole um glitter process i wouldn't send you off girl i wouldn't send you off oh boy so yeah just gonna go back in with that chickadee and just keep blending that out Keep blending out. This tutorial is for you guys because a lot of you guys asked me about this palette. Yes. And I'm going to take this. This is my Morphe 350 palette. If you've seen my previous video, then you know how I feel about this palette. But I'm going to take this top orange shade right here and I'm going to go in with this next. Give me life how it, how I thought it was. That's fine. But it's not, it just didn't give me life like I thought. But... It gave me life with this look. Lot of thought. I'm just going in with that same brush and I'm just blending it in my crease. Take two shades down from that. I'm going to take this orange right here. So this is the first orange. I'm gonna go well one shade. It's the second shade from this. So one, two. And I'm just going right underneath that and just pretty much like deepening it up. And like it's giving me a gradient effect if you can tell. So, yeah. Honestly, this is why I bought this palette because of the oranges. So, if you guys are like, why did you buy the palette? I honestly bought it because of the oranges. And the oranges are holding up to the expectation that I expect it so when I got it I don't know it was kind of like I don't know but yeah, I'm just, just right here in the 
center. And I'm gonna go back in and just blend that out. Okay, so right now I'm just going to take the glitter. The glitter that I'm gonna be using is Sally Girls Glitter and I literally got it from Sally's, the beauty supply store. Um, so like I did before, I'm just gonna take my Wet n Wild liquid eyeliner in silver and just pretty much apply it first. Then I'm going to take the this part of this um, brush. I'm just going to go in and coat my lashes and prepare for falsies. And I did go in just a little bit with fudge from Anastasia Beverly Hill and deepen that up. Okay, so for my foundation, I am going to be using the Maybelline uh, Fit Me Matte and Poreless. I did notice that the this one is supposed to be the same color as the color that I normally wear, but it's a tad bit lighter to me. I'm going to have to just go back to the one that I normally use. But as you can see, look, it's not extremely too light where it's like it gives me a whole nother um skin tone so yeah so now I'm going to go in with this LA Girl Pro Concealer and in the color Toffee I bought this one because I thought it would be darker than Fawn but I don't think it is. So I'm just going to go in and actually add a bit of my beautiful bronze to this. I'm going to use this beautiful, no, what is it called? Who is this? Black Radiance um, Soft Focus Finishing Powder. So I'm just going to use this to set my concealer before I go in and use a uh, highlighting powder.
in with my Sasha Buttercup um, powder and set my under eye. Jack it up. I'm just going to let that sit there for a bit and then I'm going to go in with my Black Radiance Contour Kit and I'm going to use the contour color right there. I'm really not sure what scope this is for but the highlight right here is amazing. And if you follow me on Snap you already know because I like did a whole Snapchat about it but yeah. For my highlight, I am going to be using a mixture of two uh, different highlights. I'm going to start off with Max um, Old Darling. Then I'm going to take the highlight that's in the contour kit. For my blush, I am going to be taking this blush from the um, Simpsons collection. 